The weak economy and the Watergate scandal gave the Democrats an edge in the 1976 presidential race, and a little-known former Georgia governor named Jimmy Carter was able to defeat President Ford by a narrow margin. I told you I didn't intend to lose. Carter had campaigned as a political outsider, someone untainted by Washington scandals. Experts predicted he would easily hold on to the White House for two terms. But the fact that Carter was an outsider quickly proved to be a liability. His economic program, reining in federal spending to fight inflation rather than increasing federal spending to reduce unemployment, angered many Democrats. Despite Carter's efforts, unemployment lines grew longer and inflation soared. By his fourth year in office, Carter had dampened inflation slightly, but unemployment was still high. Aside from the economy, Carter's biggest problem was the energy crisis brought on by the United States' growing dependence on foreign oil, specifically from the Middle East. In one of his few legislative successes, President Carter lifted the lid on oil and gas prices imposed by President Nixon, allowing them to rise to world market levels. As Carter entered his fourth year in office, America's economic problems continued, and a major foreign policy crisis had developed in the Middle East. In November 1979, Iranian revolutionaries invaded the American embassy and took 66 Americans hostage. The Iranians were angered by Carter's decision to admit the Shah of Iran, the country's former ruler to the U.S. for medical treatment. The crisis dragged on throughout 1980 and included a failed attempt to rescue the hostages in which eight U.S. servicemen died. The sort of thing you see in action movies, but you never see in real life, where the rescuers were going to chop her into the prison, well, where the American, prison, uh, American consulate staff and Marines were held and shoot their way out somehow. Public frustration over the handling of the crisis helped send Carter's approval level plummeting to the worst rating of any American president in history. Carter's presidency did have its successes. Shortly before leaving office, Carter succeeded in passing a $1.6 billion toxic waste bill to clean up hundreds of old chemical dumps and a law to make 100 million acres of Alaska land off-limits to development. In response to the nation's dependence on foreign oil, Carter took up the cause of conserving energy and finding alternative energy sources. One of those sources, nuclear energy, would be the cause of some of Jimmy Carter's most dramatic moments as president. Faced with a near disaster, when the Three Mile Island nuclear plant malfunctioned in March 1979, President Carter kept a close watch on the situation and reassured the nation by personally visiting the site with his wife, Rosalind. As the 1980 presidential election approached, the political landscape had changed dramatically from that of 20 years earlier. Gone were the visions of unending, limitless prosperity. Faith in the government's ability to solve problems at home, as well as its image as a world power, had been severely shaken. The hostage crisis, inflation, unemployment, and political turmoil had left many Americans uneasy about the nation's future.